I'm Phil Burkett and um, I run a small contracting company that services the horticultural, forestry and environmental industry. We do contract planting with our tractor mounted tree planting machines, tree liner machines. Today we've planted 2,600 trees, native uh, Cumberland Plains species, which are all endemic to the area. We've put them in this um, block of vacant land. It's a compensatory planting for nearby local development. It means that this uh, will, will soon be native um, bush and the reason we do that is because if we leave this for future generations unlooked after, a lot of unnative uh, exotic weeds will, could come in and colonise this area. It wouldn't have its natural integrity. The reason that um, people looking to put in large plantings would, would come to an organisation like us would be that we've been doing this sort of work for 20 years. We've been machine planting using our own tree liners that we manufacture since about 1992. It's that sort of experience that people um, need when they take on a large project with trees which are actually, it's a living system. If mistakes are made, plants can die, taking the process right back to pre-seed collection time. It can, it can set you back several years if it's not done properly. Uh, another reason to use a mechanical planter like tree liner is that um, you can take advantage of good conditions. So if the soil's moist and we've had recent rain, or if we can forecast a predictable um, amount of rain coming, we can install the plants much quicker. We can put several tree planting machines on the job and saving large quantities of irrigation expenditure. There's about 28 different species here and they're all uh, endemic to Cumberland Plains woodland, which in itself is a threatened community, threatened plant community. That's the native, the remnant bushes around here that you can see. And uh, as I said before, if this paddock was left, a lot of perennial weeds would come in and it'd be a very ugly sight. Um, and no, not much chop for the next generation like this. The way it is, the way that it's being done now, um, the, uh, the natural bush will be regenerated uh, I mean, it may not look like natural bush being straight lines, but the reason we plant straight lines is proficiency, for a proficiency reason. We can, we can establish these plants and we can maintain them over the first 18 months, and in about 18 months they'll start to self-seed, especially the wattles will self-seed through this area, and the whole configuration of rows will be, uh, will be very hard to pick because it'll just be a very thick uh, clump of natural bush. As you can see, the plant spacing is only about one and a half to two metres, and uh, we've got trees, shrubs, grasses, all the elements that, um, that make up that, um, all the different canopy layers which make up that Cumberland Plains woodland. And, um, and they're using a tree planting machine, it's a very proficient way of planting a project like this. When you go to school, Patrick, that tree will be bigger than you. Yeah. And that tree's soaking up carbon, Patrick, carbon dioxide which is bad for our environment. We've planted, you know, along the lines of about 2.8 million trees in Western Sydney. We now have um, many tree liners and, and, and multiple tractors and um, we feel that we're ready to uh, put that service out there for people who are in, intending to do large scale carbon credit plantings and um, we feel that we could bring to those carbon credit plantings a lot more proficiencies in the, in the process of transplanting or planting out. Uh, and also a lot more consistency of quality, which will uh, show through in, in, in the long-term uh, returns. 